And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, a real estate and finance expert, and goes to bat for you every day as your consumer advocate. Your host, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day, committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and providing you the timely truth. Centered around real estate, credit, finance, estate planning, tax planning. Over 80 show partners now with the Real Estate Quarterback Show and the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we all want to help you win in any marketplace. We're here to enlighten, entertain, engage in an effort to help you win in any marketplace. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Now, I want you to pull out your smartphone and save our Consumer Advocate Hotline number in your phone. It's 813 917 one eight nine four. You used to call me on my cell phone. Eight one three nine one seven eighteen ninety four. And we want you to bookmark realestateradiotampa.com. That's our website, blog site. You can see a plethora of information there. Links to all of our listings with Platinum MVP Realty, as well as all of our expert contributors' contact information under the Expert Contributors tab. All you have to do is click on that link, and you'll see their, their websites, phone numbers, contact info, and as well as the uh, listings from Platinum MVP Realty and uh, a lot of folks that can help you win in any marketplace. You know, we designed this show to help you win, positioning uh, you as an authoritative expert here. And let's go around the horn. Let's make our introductions. We got first up back in studio, Tara Richter, Richter Publishing. Welcome back in. Thanks, thanks. It's good to be in after the nice long holiday weekend. <laughs> That's right. Having fun and, and uh, going to help some folks learn about publishing a book and how they can grow their sphere of influence. Yep. Actually, today I'm going to talk about how you can actually write a pitch for your book because, you know, it's really important for people to know, um, you know, how to pitch their book, um, whether you're pitching to a publisher like myself to get it published or even if you're just pitching to you know someone to buy your book um, you know when you're out there and, and obviously you know business owners they need to know how to pitch their business and it's interesting how some people you know I just had a phone call with a, an aspiring author last week and I was like okay well you know pitch me your book yeah. and he goes on for like 10 15 minutes and I am just like oh my goodness you know you need to get this down to a short sweet yeah. you know 30 60 second pitch where people can understand what it is is what it's about and walk away understanding exactly you know how the, how your book can help them that's right yeah if you're in an elevator and you have from floor number one to floor four five six seven eight you've got to get it across to that key person that you might meet that's gonna help you get that book out there great point exactly so you know what I did is you know if people aren't familiar familiar with like um, you know how to do a pitch it's really broken down into a process and so I kind of just um, sketched out you know a short one that's really easy it's only five steps yep. and so all you have to do is just kind of answer these questions and then then you have your pitch so basically like the first thing you want to do is obviously introduce yourself you know who are you yep what do you specialize in? So, for example, you know, I'm Tara Richter. I'm the president of Richter Publishing, and I specialize in helping business owners how to write their nonfiction story in four weeks and publish a book. Boom. You know, who I am, what I do, and what I'm about. Nice. You know, it was really nice and clear. Yep. Then the second step is you actually you want to write down your credibility. You know, what gives you the authority to write the book on this topic? And, right. and just to, you know, point out, we are talking about, you know, nonfiction business books here. A, a fiction book would, you know, kind of go a little bit different because right. you have, you know, plot and everything like that. But so basically the second step is going to be your credibility. So, for example, you know, I've been featured on CNN, ABC, daytime TV, Fox and radio stations all over the world. So that gives me some credibility. People are like, OK, we know what you do. You know that, you know, you've been notarized for it. Um, and then the third step is actually what problem does your book solve? Right. So there's got to be some problem, some issue out there. So obviously, you know, with like my book here, um, How to Write a Book in Four Weeks, the problem is that authors think it takes years to write a good right. book. And it doesn't. So that's step number four is how does your book solve the problem? Well, obviously, mine's like right here in the title, How to Write a Book in Four Weeks. So, you know, the problem that my book solve and my company is, you know, we sit down, we have the algorithm to give authors to show them how they can literally sit down in four weeks, crank out a rough draft that's going to be somewhere between twenty and 30,000 words. Yeah. 
And then the last step, number five, is your authentic why. Because you have to tie in somehow, like, you know, why are you passionate about this? Right. You know, why are you doing this? And, you know, my authentic why is because I've been a writer my whole life. You know, I love to write. I love to help people. And so after writing and publishing 10 of my own books, yep. I was able to streamline the process. So now I can help that with other authors. Yeah, beautiful. It's all about the why behind it. What are you passionate about? What's going to drive you when you get that no time after time? You get that eighth no, and then that next one is the yes that you've been looking for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the whole thing is that, you know, if you just, you know, write down these five steps, flush them out, get it so you have it, you know, down in like 60 to maybe 90 seconds. So like you said, if you're in an elevator and you happen to bump into, you know, um, Kevin Harrington from the Shark Tank yeah. or, you know, <laughs> And you're like, oh, my gosh, I have this time alone in the elevator. How can I get my point across quickly and clearly so they know exactly what I'm talking about? That's where we need that button with Eminem that says, seize the moment. What's that song? Oh, Connor, yeah. The song with Eminem. Eminem. Uh, right you only now. get one shot to yeah, not miss your chance. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. absolutely. And that's the thing. Like, you know, these people, and obviously I do a lot of networking events. I know you do a lot of networking events. And there's so many times you come across these people and you're like, so what do you do? Yep. And they go on and on and on. And finally, you just make up an excuse to, like, walk away. You're like, <laughs> I got to go to the bathroom. I need a drink. And you're like, I have no idea what that person does and, and that's the key too is when you, when you have a conversation it's all about give and take you know don't don't you you want to you want to get your point across and then and then take and then listen and then and that's what cut one of Covey's seven habits is you know you're you're thinking a layer deeper you're not listening with the intent to reply but listening with the intent to fully understand i think so many people make that mistake in business oh absolutely so many people are just waiting to get their point across and exactly. they're not listening that's right listening is a dying art yes <laughs> it is and you do you have to focus on it yep. and um i think the older you get i think a little bit easier it is to listen yep. you know in your 20s um i think more people are just excited about you know getting their point across and talking about themselves and once exactly. you get older Older, you learn the art of listening, you know, which obviously I have to do when I'm helping these authors write their books. I have to make sure I sit there and keep my mouth shut for like hours on end, yeah. which is hard for me because I like to talk. So <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, and it gets into different personality types, but a lot of people do like to talk. They, you know, they have the, uh, you know, introvert, extrovert, especially in sales and business. A lot of times you find that person that, uh, you know, they, they love to, you know, like you said, talk about themselves, their product, their service. They're proud of their product or service. So why not reach out to Tara Richter with Richter Publishing? Get a book in place. Go around. And, uh, you know, with the, with the book, you're able to hand that book out. Now, instead of handing out a business card, you're going to be saying, hey, I'm a published author. Now you're on a different light from that person you're speaking with. Absolutely. It, it raises your profile in the eyes of other people. You know, it makes you an expert in your industry. And the cool thing is like, you know, this book here, and I love these little manuals, you know, which you can get these on Amazon. They're not that expensive. Um, you know, this book here is, I mean, this is only 60 pages. Mm -hmm. This is not, I mean, actually the book on how to write a book in four weeks, I wrote and published it in two weeks. So, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think it's maybe 10,000 words. It just has a lot of tips and tricks to help you. But the yep. cool thing is that when I'm trying to get a client, you know that's gonna pay me a large sum of money for us to write the book I will give this to them instead of a business card because wholesale I can buy these myself for like two dollars and fifty cents right yeah exactly you, you buy 50 or 100 at a time it's a great way to you know go out to those networking groups meet those key people in whatever industry in uh, you're in you, you look at any industry you break it down and they talk about the 80 20 rule you know mm -hmm. you've got you've got 20% uh, of the people at the top of the industry doing 80% of the volume for most industries yeah exactly and that's because they're seen as an expert in their industry a key person to influence you know and so people just gravitate towards them because they've made such a name for themselves and that's the cool thing with these books you know like um, what I tell like, my authors you know um, there's so many different ways that you can leverage it um, like one of my authors actually um, Stacy Hopkins um, or Robinson I'm sorry um, she is an MD and she has um, a business where she's a concierge um, doctor mm -hmm. and so you know she helps you through like a holistic way of eating food to cure you know diseases and stuff like that and she just did a talk at McDill Air Force Base and um, basically the people who brought her in you know part of her fee was that they bought the book for everyone 
Nice. that came into attend. So that's what I say, you know, obviously you can become, um, you know, a speaker with your book. If you are a speaker, you need a book at the back of the room, yep. but then you can increase sales by, and I, and I teach my authors to do that. It's like, we'll charge this amount to, to speak and then say, Hey, you can buy a hundred copies of my book at, you know, a wholesale cost, yep. obviously like, you know, you bump it up like five bucks or whatever. Right. So then you're buying the book. Well, they're buying the books. You're still making money. Everybody gets the book when they walk out of the room and it's just a win-win situation. Love it. Love it. Great way to grow your sphere of influence, gain more market share, whatever your business model is. And uh, more from Tara Richter, Richter Publishing. Mm -hmm. Connor. Stay with us. The best is yet to come. You're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, Real Estate Radio, Tampa.com. This is work done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and enter our lightning round. All right, so top consumer tips, things to do, things to avoid. Tara Richter, Richter Publishing, you're up first. Um, well, I would say like the top tips, you know, since we're talking about um, pitching, is, you know, to make sure that, you know, you get your pitch down properly um, so that it's clear and concise of whoever you're talking to, somebody to, you know, publish your book, anybody you want to buy your book or anything like that. So make sure you have that clear and concise. And we have a lot of free resources for people. They can go to our website. Um, you just go to richterpublishing.com slash resources. We have book outlines you can download, um, writing calendars. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff to help you, you know, because it's really important when you sit down if you're going to write your book yourself is to get organized first so go to our website download all those free resources to help you out very cool so let's go ahead around the horn again top consumer tips we're going to go back to tara richter here richter publishing um well i don't know as far as tips i think i'm kind of out but are we going to do this something good you want to go let's go to the tell me something yeah good. can we do second. that because i have a lot of good stuff to talk about let's do it <laughs> tell me something good we've been up to a lot of good stuff um at richter publishing so um last week we donated 44 pounds of dog food to the love luke um dog and cat rescue and they're here locally in Tampa. Um, and you can go to, and like, you know, search them on Facebook. They're always in need of um, food, supplies for animals because they actually foster the animals um, before they find, you know, like their, their forever homes. So, cool. um, you know, they're always in need of supplies. If you go to their Facebook page, they have a list of stuff that they need and where you can ship it to. And then um, this week, we're actually going to donate some flat screen TVs to the um, the Center for Girls, which is Very out cool. um, over in North Tampa, kind of by the zoo. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, they always need stuff as well. You know, they're like a they're a really um, awesome, um, you know, nonprofit helping out girls and women um, that have suffered like domestic violence and stuff like that in the Tampa Bay area. So that's awesome, um, you know, that we're going to help them out as well. Very cool. And then just on Sunday, I have one more thing. Yeah, good. Stack <laughs> on Sunday, I was um, in a photo shoot for a new magazine that's coming out, um, also here in the Tampa Bay area, called Strong and Courageous Women. And Very so cool. it's like the first edition is going to come out in July. And I um, mean, you know, so it's all about like empowering, you know, strong um, and courageous women, you know, in the area. But it's actually going to be um, distributed um, nationally. So that's a really cool thing. So people should go and look at that website, strongandcourageouswomen.com and um, subscribe to their magazine because they're going to have some really awesome articles in it. Very cool. Love it. Yeah. So yeah. so tell me something good. We're going to go around the horn here as charity. Well. So uh, my tell me something good would be the uh, to remind you to support Support the Gelatin Plunge coming up on June 18th. It's Saturday, June 18th for the Children's Cancer Center. It's one of our uh, contributions that we make with Platinum MVP Realty is supporting the Children's Cancer Center. They do a great job. You know, when, whenever children do get cancer, uh, there's a lot of organizations that are researching for uh, doing research for cures and things of that nature. But the Children's Cancer Center, the, the way that they're different is they actually support in their time of need, uh, whether it's buying meals for the families, providing places for them to go. Uh, helping them cope through those times with uh, financial and, and support, uh, mental, uh, emotional support as well uh, with the Children's Cancer Center. I had a great uh, opportunity, blessed with the opportunity to MC last year's Wine, Women, and Shoes event, another very cool event that's coming up around the corner, but most notably is the uh, Gelatin Plunge, Saturday the 18th. If you or someone you know want to slide down a slide into a pool full of gelatin, the kids love that. Uh, you know, check it out. You got to go to the, you can check it out on CrowdRise. I believe the Gelatin Plunge, uh, Saturday the 18th. 
8th. You can come out and support the Children's Cancer Center by doing something fun and unique and awesome anyway. So it's a great uh, great opportunity to get involved with the community. So I want to thank Tara Richter. Richter Publishing teaches you how to write your own book, publish your own book, grow your sphere of influence. And, uh, and each spoke extending out represents another one of our preferred partners. Over 80 partners now that are going to help you win in any marketplace. So we want you reaching out at 813-917-1894 and check out our website. And please go out and consider making a random act of kindness.